off everybody it's your boy t back on the mic once again let me move this damn i'm gonna move it like this simply because i don't know how it's gonna sound if i don't have it like that but what's up everybody we're back with another dokkan battle asmr video this time we're doing um super atl extreme super battle road it is currently on February 8th I think it said so this has been recorded for a while <laughs> this is during the two year anniversary I'm just gonna go ahead and get started All right. sorry about that cut guys let's go ahead and let's hit play now so uh, I'm doing this with a super ATL primarily Kamehameha team um, I think looking back on it I probably could have this team got it done. Uh, both the Gohans and the Goku are on Kamehameha. And then um, everybody else is just getting the normal 120 from Super ATL, Leader Scale from Gohan. Uh, Goku completely carries. <laughs> and this is why I was so happy that I pulled him. Even though I didn't end up pulling Vegeta, I was so completely okay with the Goku because my god I was nowhere nowhere close to beating this before this guy came along um and I actually got it done this time as you can see starting off with the dodge the double super uh this guy is auto grinning on his second super and so almost a 2 million attack stat auto grit and then just a dodge super attack dodge that dude just Man, this guy was so good, man. Like, he really allowed uh, Gohan to shine. And so what I ended up doing was, I'm pretty sure I either ran, I know I ran Gohan and Goku, so that Gohan would always be in slot two, so he can build up his defense. Um, but I think I ran Khalifa and Gohan on the second rotation for a similar effect and as you can see in one rotation we get cyborg Tao completely out of here that was unheard of before this guy came um i actually may end up keeping super boo or skinny boo on rotation though because his defense is immaculate um i don't remember but i think it's khalifa <laughs> khalifa also has a 70 percent chance to die mistaken um she doesn't do a lot of damage but that dodge is really what helps uh skinny boo my skinny boo only has one dupe i believe so he's not gonna do a lot of damage either but his defense even at 120 percent is off the chain uh or at least i thought it was she's 70k i thought he was taking less than that how did we end up doing this run <laughs> oh my goodness and Goku must have carried us Jesus okay I brought the uh, Boo and Hercule because um, they're excellent defensively and as you're gonna see in a future video they actually um, really helped me in the Majin Boo arc Super Battle Road Extreme Super Battle see them put up impressive numbers uh as you guys can see go on after about three or four supers he starts to tank so that's what we really want and boom phase one already done that is just that's unprecedented especially for you know my runs to be at like a half health phase one completed like that like that was just not snake maybe no what do I end up going with and why do I have go on in slot 3 <laughs> I'm trying to think of what my plays were here so I, I know for a fact I want to take out some of the weaker guys why am I not running go on and Khalifa why do I have super boo right there for I keep calling him super boo 
skinny boo. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. But Louise, that's probably the smartest thing to do. Uh, so it seems like I'm darkening Jace. I'm trying to get Jace out of here. I don't think there was a reason that I was going after Jace first. That's a clutch dodge by Skinny Boo. I was about to call him Super again. Um, he's a really good unit too. I use him in Revived Warriors Super Battle Road. Extreme Super Battle Road. Um, I've yet to beat it, but I got some new additions. Um, I ended up the Timebreaker Bardock uh, EZA has come out. Super Saiyan Bardock off the Ant Broly banner. So I have to try to get um, him SA tamed and then I'll try again on that Super Battle Road run. Now, I forgot all about this ability. This was clutch. Super Vegeta, once you fall under 50%, I think, maybe it's 40%, HP, he allows you to see supers. So I know that Goku is going to get supered, but not Goku. And so, um, I am comfortable in thinking that Goku is going to dodge. Uh, and if not, then I have a Whis active. So, we will see for sure. 30k, man. <laughs> These guys hit so hard. 2.88 with a medium chance to double super, which is going to be a great. This has a 50% chance of critting. Look, look, look. Now, thankfully, Goku did dodge that one. Like, that is, this guy is just so crazy, man. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm back. So, I see that we uh, used an Android 8 to heal up, get some extra defense. Um, I was thinking about how I'm going to get a super with both of these guys at the time, but I ended up getting in anyways. I think the reason I went with this rotation is because of the defensive prowess. I'm not entirely sure. If it was, if I were to redo this over, I would definitely run Khalifa and go on together. Um, I don't really know what I was doing, but it ended up working, so <laughs> that's all that matters. Now, the great thing about Khalifa is not only can she dodge, she raises her defense for six turns on Super. So if she double supers in a turn, like that's two defensive raises for six turns, which is going to be there as soon as you start the next turn. And so if she double supers again, that's four defensive raises that she has going into your next turn. Khalifa's dumb. Like she's just, she's out of this world. So I'm trying to think, um, do I really, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I was trying to get Gohan an 18 key super. This friend Gohan is 100%, though. they give you a 100% Gohan. And so that's why I wanted him to double super because I felt like he would do the most damage. Um, and that was a, that was a smart play by me, even though it meant that the Gohan, far right wasn't going to get any links active the rainbow one is the one that really needed to do damage and as you can see 3.65 and go on tens to double super well 
we'll see if he does here. Yes, he does. So that's five million, six million damage easily. Uh, and Captain Ginyu is gone. Um, so I made I made the right play there. I was trying to think about it, like think it through in my head, like while I'm doing this, and I'm just like, what am I doing? Um, I think thinking back on it, one reason we get this done is. I think we actually get a revival to go off. I think we do. Um, the revival skill mechanic is just... Man, I, I know a lot of people have complained. What am I doing? Why wouldn't I keep Glee for a hard age? Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the revival skill mechanic is just... I know a lot of people complain about the restrictions, but man, it comes such in clutch. Like, the restrictions are only really as bad for, like, people that have mostly rainbow boxes. Like, if you're just a regular player, like, the restrictions are, are not that bad at all. Because um, as you can see, we still got an enemy left and we're on turn six. Like, that first fight was an anomaly in every sense of the word. Um, at this point, I'm not really too concerned about doing the most damage. I just kind of want to make it out because I feel like I have this one in the bag. And I see the Dokkan meter uh, filling up fast. So, if I can enter the next fight um, and get the Dokkan attack, I'll feel good. I was hoping Goku would dodge right there, but it's fine. I think Gohan's going to take him out. Yep. And so, the next fight, as long as we can get past the first turn, then I know we can get the Dokkan attack and heal up, and that'll be good. Um, but Khalifa is off rotation, so I don't remember what happens here. I have to use an item. Maybe a Nurse GG is what I end up going with. Is that what I do? Yes. No. <laughs> that makes the most sense. Uh, Nurse Gigi makes the most sense here. Past me. There we go. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I have Vegito in slot one. Because I'm hoping all of these will be regular attacks. Don't know. In my face cam keeps going away and I keep pausing a second. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> it's because allergy season is here. It's pollen all outside and the weather has drastically changed. And every year around this time of year, I just get incredibly sick. And I'm not super duper sick right now. I just have, you know, regular allergic reactions right now, so trying to think what I want to do, because I'm like, geez, Goku may not super, but I need him to super, but I also need Gohan to super, and Gohan can't take a hit in the first slot, so I think I just end up not getting Goku a super. I'm trying to think how the orbs would best fall to get everybody a super here. I think I should have just went for the reds, and then let Gohan get the, um, the uh, purples, but it's fine. As long as Goku dodges everything here. Dodge again, Goku. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get a Go Dokkan attack with Gohan. Um, which is smarter because, again, Gohan is probably going to do the most damage. Um, and so it's going to be the most... 
most damage to everybody. Uh, plus a potential double slip ring. Um, and I'm banking on Khalifa getting a good defensive raise and some dodges in. So that we can end up walking out. Okay. So he took 13 out and just look how much damage he actually did to everybody else. Look at that. Gohan's a monster. Khalifa gets two supers, which is super duper clutch. Double defensive raise and, uh, you know, gets one out of here. So she only takes one attack and barely survives and gets us the heal, man. Like, <laughs> this run was insane, especially because looking back on it, I played this so poorly. But the thing is, though, like, say say that's you know super vegeto in that slot instead do we survive that turn you know like it looks like poor play now but it's like in hindsight do we survive that turn if that's anybody other than Khalifa right there you know like so it all ends up working so here now I gotta make that decision again like I have to not put Gohan in the first slot so the other Gohan is not going to get a super more than likely and this is the last turn so I'm thinking okay I can go balls to the walls with the items now whatever I need to do I can do <laughs> so there's GG off rip just to make sure on this turn is out like no one's gonna take any damage plus off uh, 40% for next turn and I gotta heal so is that what I was thinking I have no clue <laughs> I guess I guess I just feel like at this point you know I still haven't used my revival um, <laughs> I still have another item and I just I just want to get through it I think in my other attempts I just I was conservative with items and that would end up being my downfall and I don't think I wanted that to happen again so you know but yeah super Vegito man I just looking at how busted Vegito Blue is physical Vegito Blue who came out six months later I just don't understand what they were thinking when super Vegito's easy a man like he He's good, but he's not balls to the walls. Like, he's supposed to be being super Vegito, like, ATL super Vegito. Like, do we remember how busted he was when he first came out, man? Like, I don't know. Especially, like, just a year later to see how they're doing these easy A's. Like, my God. <laughs> they, they. I think I do that. 
slot and instead supering in the third slot. I think that's what I'm going for. And it worked out <laughs> automatically. And since Vegito uh, supers first, he gives an exact race to the whole, uh, whole team. A double. Even better. Thank <laughs> you.